Hey everybody, it's Moonbow here, and welcome back to more Endless Scrap Mechanic. In today's episode, we're back in Scrap Mechanic First Person Shooter with a brand new weapon to add to the armory. So of course guys, we do have the handgun, we have the M16, we've got the really cool grenade launcher as well, and then there it is guys, to the right, we have the absolutely awesome sniper rifle. Now before we get started with today's episode, I wanted to let you know that there is going to be another episode of Scrap Mechanic First Person Shooter coming out later today with a brand new weapon. Now I'm not gonna say which weapon it is, but if you guys think you know what it is, then leave your guess down in the comments below. And guys, if you are still enjoying Scrap Mechanic First Person Shooter, then be sure to leave a like on this series and also leave your suggestions for future episodes down in the comments below. But now it is time for some sharp shooting. Shooting. All right, so here is the sniper rifle. Now, I tried to model this after some type of 50 cal version of a sniper rifle, and as you can see, we do have two different versions of this build. So we've got the top one there, and that one is actually my favorite of the two, and this one is kind of like a silenced version of the sniper rifle. I'll talk a little bit more about it when we're actually using them, and then the one below it is like the high power, heavy hitting sniper rifle, but it's slightly ridiculous. Now, the coolest thing about this sniper rifle, and it was suggested to me was to make sure I had some type of bolt action movement going on so this is probably my favorite part of the build and why I think this is also my favorite weapon that I've made so far is watch this guy so when we shoot I'm gonna have to try and explain this but we're gonna shoot and look at that so it shot the spud and then did you see that right there so the uh, cocking lever got pulled back just like so now if you did notice there was a slight delay in pulling it back and now the way I timed it was so that Basically, when you pull it back, it allows you to release it again. So we'll hit the switch again and watch this. It releases back to the front again, and that means you're timed for another shot. Now, it's not the bolt action that is actually loading another round in or anything. What's really happening is basically just the fact that on the end of the weapon, we've got this modified spud gun. Now, it has a really, really slow fire rate, so it really works in favor for the sniper rifle. But what that basically means is when I hit that switch and you wait, and then it pulls the lever, that means you can hit the switch again, which means the lever goes back forward, and then that means you are now ready to shoot again. So it's really more an indication of the time delay between shots. So obviously we can shoot again, and then watch, it's gonna go back, we hit the switch again, it goes forward, and now we can shoot again. So it's not really reloading or anything like that, but because of the timing, it really makes it feel like you're actually shooting some sniper rounds. So before we hop into the FPS rig with the sniper rifle, I wanted to quickly show you guys the difference between these two snipers. So so like I mentioned, this one here is kind of like the silenced one. Now it's not really silenced, it just so happens to have a spud gun on the end of it and like I mentioned before, we can shoot it just like that and it does the reload sequence as well and you can shoot again. now. That was kind of underwhelming for such a massive sniper rifle, so what I decided to do was I literally added a tank cannon to this build and it does give you that desired effect of a really powerful shot, but it does explode on impact, but watch this guys. Just look at that. Okay, wow. See, look at this. The sniper rifle fell over and everything because we weren't even holding it. Uh, so obviously, it's going to go flying away. But, I mean, it has an exploding round, which is kind of ridiculous. Uh, but nonetheless, guys, it was definitely worth it. And look at this, guys. We also have the uh, stand here and everything. And I'm going to show you guys some pretty cool stuff in the first-person rig there. But we got that. And this is just such a ridiculous build. But as much fun as it is to just shoot it like that, we got to use it in the rig. All right, so here we are in the FPS rig, and like I mentioned, guys, this is my favorite build. Just look at how cool this sniper looks in our first-person hands. I'm just over the moon, no pun intended, with how good the sniper rifle turned out. Now, check this out, guys. So we're going to take a few shots with this one here. This is the explosive heavy-duty 50 cal. I just want to take a couple shots with this one, and then we're going to move on to the silence one because I feel like that one is a little truer to an actual sniper rifle. But look at this, guys. So we can move around look around and of course we've got aim down sights as well take a look at that so we can see through the scope now this scope I did not zero but the silence one I put a little bit more effort into it and we can actually zero that scope and now I figured if you're gonna be playing against friends or something this sniper rifle is definitely gonna be way too overpowered but here we go guys let's take our first shot we got some zombies down there now this scope obviously doesn't actually work but I figured you know what maybe with a bit of editing it might look kind of decent but here we go we got one zombie there now like I mentioned this one isn't zeroed in so we're gonna take a shot right there oh yeah look at that that was the perfect shot so there we go we can put the lever back in just like so and now we're ready for another shot we can even do 
like some no scopes you know just some quick shot no scopes like that as well all right so let's aim for one of these zombies a little further out here you know what we got that one right over there by the tree now this one isn't zeroed as a sight but i do know relatively close to where we need to aim so i think it's somewhere right around here we have to steady our aim there it is and take the shot oh yeah look at that the perfect shot so yeah that is the heavy duty sniper rifle like i mentioned it's a little overpowered but it's a lot of fun nonetheless to shoot stuff from so far away with the sights uh now i'm just kind of giving you guys a little example of what it's like to run with the sniper rifle and of course like the other ones guys you can swap out the sniper rifle boom there it goes and you've got your handgun yet again all right so here we go guys this is the silenced one now this is the one i like the most because it's not so ridiculous it doesn't blow up on impact now look at this though guys i am really happy with the way this sniper turned out and one thing i wanted to show you guys actually is you know what i'm gonna make a little table right here all right so i've got a little table set up right here now take a look at this guys we can actually deploy the legs on on the sniper and kind of just rest it right there like that for a more stable shot now okay I realize we can't really actually pivot the sniper rifle so it's not really that useful but I just wanted to kind of show you guys what it looked like in the first person to actually use it like a weapon you know and look we can even aim down sights while it's resting up against the table and this was just more about the realism of using this in FPS alright so now it's time for some precision shooting with this sniper rifle so we're gonna try and clear the rest of these zombies from a nice safe distance so here we go we're gonna aim down the sight and this one is actually kind of squared up with the scope now I used a smart engine with the piston to get it to the perfect spot so here we go guys let's take a shot right there okay wow okay so that was a little too low so let's aim just a little bit higher so I think it's kind of like as if there was an iron sight on the front there oh wow was that a, a hit I can't even tell to be honest with you all right I'm coming in here into the zombie zone guys because I'm really curious if that was actually a hit or not because I feel like it was and yes look at this wow it was a clean headshot well wow, okay so guys the sniper rifle does actually work so let's see here we've got a few more targets it looks like we got four more so let's take the shot at this guy in yellow right here I think all right try and line this up for another headshot here we're gonna take the shot I think right here oh yeah there we go that was definitely another hit now I don't know if it was a headshot or not but I'm gonna take the shot anyway and assume we got rid of that zombie so now we're gonna reload we're gonna take a different shot here at a different zombie right there oh yeah that was another hit he even fell over actually that's totally awesome oh wow this guy is really lucky you know what guys I am clearly not a trained marksman by any means oh wow. I keep missing so oh wait no okay we did hit him there okay he did go down line it up right there and take the shot not even close all right so that guy is really far away but the beauty of this of course guys is this is the FPS rig so we can advance on our position here so I wonder maybe can we like get up to this tower here we're gonna strafe over to the right oh yeah we're hidden behind this tower perfectly so let's see if we can't get a shot on this final zombie right there guys take the shot oh yeah got him all right so I want to take a quick look here guys let's hop out of the rig here and see what our damage actually was so this guy here okay we took a leg out on this zombie here what happened to this guy okay he's fallen over okay looks like we actually just scraped the hand I feel like a zombie would really be able to keep going after that and this one here was another hand hit wow so their hands they really do block the shot don't they now as one final thing in this episode of scrap mechanic FPS I wanted to just kind of show off the true devastating power of this sniper and why it is definitely a little too overpowered here just watch this guys look at this this is the strongest sniper rifle you have ever seen before it doesn't even make sense so that is going to be the first episode of scrap mechanic fps today if you guys have any suggestions like i said leave them down in the comments guys now if you guys did enjoy this build or the video then let me know by hitting that like button and if you guys want to tune in for more endless scrap mechanic then be sure to subscribe to the channel and maybe even turn on some notifications so you can get the latest and the craziest coming from me in scrap mechanic guys so thank you so much for tuning in and i will be seeing you in the next one so Bye for now.